Hey everyone, Vijani C here with another old school RuneScape Trailblazer video. Today I want to talk about the Elven region of Terranwyn, killing Zolra, getting a blowpipe, and getting darts for that blowpipe without actually smithing them. Let's get right into it. So today I was doing some theory crafting on how to actually get darts without unlocking the desert region. I'm still weighing my regions on what I'm going to pick for my second and third. Mostly my third. My second is kind of already picked out. First is obviously going to be Mauritania. But I wanted to know if I took Terranwyn, how hard is it to actually get darts efficiently enough that I don't have to smith them. Alright, so I was thinking about Terranwyn. And basically, I'm looking at it as a second or third region unlock. Definitely not the first. There's some low-level stuff to do in Tier 1, but not a whole lot. Realistically, I'm looking at it as a mid to end game progression region. The main reason to pick Tier 1 is going to be that end game PVM resource gathering. If you've taken the production master... Uh, those are all good reasons to take Terranwyn. If you're going to be doing endgame PVM, Zora has some great drops for you. If you're going to be doing endgame PVM, that's where Gauntlet is. That's where Zora is. That's where Zolcano is. In case you missed a summary video where I covered most of the regions, basically the way that group content like Zolcano works is the drop rate is determined by the MVP of that particular kill. Also, just by unlocking this region, Eagle's Peak is auto-completed, as well as Song of the Elves and all of its prerequisites quests. Just to break down Zora's drop table real quick, we're getting the Blowpipe, the uh, Magic Fang, so that's an add-on for Toxic Staff of the Dead, or the Trident of the Swamp, Visage, so the Serpentine Helm, and then you can actually kind of semi-farm Onyxes here. I, what's there not to like, just from the Uniques, on Zora? Decent rune drops, decent herb drops, decent seed drops, but the big banger here is going to be the resources. She drops runite ore, yew logs, addy bars, coal, dragon bones, and mahogany logs. That's your primary skilling resources right there. Pure essence is going to be good, especially if you don't unlock Mauritania. That's a lot of pure essence. You can rack that up pretty quickly, but we're talking smithing experience more smithing smithing experience we're talking a fire making fletching prayer uh more fire making and construction experience from one boss that's awesome not to mention she does drop grapes there's cooking experience i i mean it's everything that you can want in one boss then we get zolcano and zolcano has some really good drops too the runes up on the screen, we're talking natures, souls, bloods, deaths, cosmics at a steady, reliable drop rate. On top of that, you're getting additional smithing experience, some crafting experience from cutting those diamonds and dragon stones, even more pure essence. God, why do we need more pure essence? And onyx bolt tips. Uh, so there's some fleshing experience there, which might even help in endgame PVM. We actually get to use uh, onyx enchanted bolts. Also, Zalcano does drop the crystal tool seed. Of course, you'll need the dragon axe, dragon pickaxe in order to use those. And then with the increased drop rates, uh, that onyx is actually obtainable. And then probably one of the most OP things in leagues to do is going to be the gauntlet. There's absolutely no gear requirement. There's no resource requirement. There's only your skills and there is no skill requirement. Now, of course, the higher your skills, the faster and more resources you'll gather in the game itself. But there's no requirement. You can get a Blade of Salador from normal and corrupted mode. You can get the crystal armor and crystal weapon seeds, which are going to be absolutely amazing starting out if you've got nothing and you're looking for best in slots uh this is where you're probably going to want to start this is why i'm thinking this is a second region if not maybe even a third region there's still so much going for tier one when it comes to skill training in this area you have access to the ledia fruit tree patch the prif allotment patch the agility course 
you have the hunter grounds with red chins in them you also have the teak trees out there which are great for two ticking sacred eel fishing should you unlock tyranwind and get a blowpipe dart tips aren't as uncommon of a drop in pvm as you think you can get rune darts from ninja implings and crystal implings rune dart tips from vorkath if you unlock fremenic and crystal implings you can get adamant darts from bronze dragons on karamja brutal green dragons in kandarin and black dragons from tyranwin and various other places that that are available Mithril darts are dropped by dropped in Asgarnia by the Cyclops in the Warriors Guild basement when you're going for the Dragon Defender, and they're pretty common as well. So you don't actually have to unlock Desert. You're gonna have to grind, you know, PVM for them, but you're gonna end up doing that anyway. So might as well get them on the way. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers, so if you guys wouldn't mind leaving a, a like and actually subscribing, it'd be much appreciated. Um, I'm doing daily videos, at least until the end of this weekend. I am putting out more content like this, so hopefully you've learned something, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.